Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Lemmy. Yeah, first of all, let me congratulate you as one of our best students in uh, the recent award winning program. You got the best student in 2.3. Now, tell us what you do and some of the activities you've involved yourself. Okay, um, thanks, Lemmy. Uh, well, um, my background is uh, architecture. That's my first degree. And um, I'm also interested in the field of finance. And that's what um, led to my taking up the Chartered Institute of uh, Stockbrokers uh, exams. So, to answer your questions, I'm into consultant, architectural consultancy and uh, construction, as well as uh, privately investment management. That's uh, just a bit. Okay, 2.3, you've gotten an award in 2.3. How do you feel to have gotten an award in this course? And it seems 2.3 has to be one of the toughest courses we have in uh, exams, and people used to complain about it. It's something like abstract, uh, it's an abstract course. You don't see a physical evidence or uh, example in the environment. How do you uh, feel about this? Uh, well, um 2.3 years, like you rightly said, it's um, what is the most difficult uh, course in the whole uh, package of uh, exams you have to do to qualify for the Chinese Stock Stockbrokers certification. Um, in as much as it is difficult, there's another angle to it which is quite interesting because uh, you're dealing with um, new instruments more or less instruments that we don't have in this environment. So uh, for those of us who are taking up that course or undergoing that, uh, have to do that paper, which is compulsory for everyone anyway, it's, uh, it offers an avenue to learn something new that we don't have in this environment. And if you look at it from that angle, you will definitely find it uh, interesting rather than difficult. Because it is difficult, but then if you look at the other side of it, you, it will uh, more or less um, ginger you and dare you to the course as it is. Thank you. Now, how were you able to achieve this success of passing the exam and winning an award for it? Uh, well, um, I must say that uh, I, I, I did my bit like every student to, to study in order to understand, first of all understand, have a grasp of what the, the course is and then of course to come out uh, so, uh, with uh, pass as required. The award actually I must confess came to me as a surprise because uh, while studying for the course uh, I didn't, uh, it wasn't as if that was my pursuit. My, my aim was first of all to have a good grasp of the course and then uh, to come out with uh, a pass. So I, I find it uh, quite, uh, I'll describe it as a uh, Came to me as a surprise. With you. Thank you. What can you say about the syllabus structure and the study pack while preparing for the exam? Uh, the, the syllabus structure is uh, is quite robust. It's very very robust, and uh, it can compete with uh, the syllabus of uh, the CFA and uh, of course uh, the ACI. It's quite robust and uh, expansive, you know. So I think it covers all aspects of uh, derivatives, portfolio management, and interestingly, commodities, which is not uh, something you find even within the the CFA curriculum. You know. So in terms of that, it's it's all encompassing, and uh, it, it um, gives you a wide view of how. The financial markets are structured. Right. How were you able to cope with your work schedules and studies while writing the exam as an architect? Uh, well, well. By virtue of my background, it, what what it en entailed was that I had to do more uh, more work since I'm um, coming from a non-financial background. However, I. I have a little bit of flexibility since uh, I'm in, into private practice. So I could uh, 
actually flex my time to suit whatever I want to do. But then when you're working for people, the pressure is actually there. But like I told you, um, anything you, you, you want to get, you have to make the sacrifices. I and mean, that's actually necessary. Nothing comes easy. The sacrifice has to be made in order to get whatever, achieve whatever you aspire to achieve. It's natural in life. Okay. There are no shortcuts. All right. Can you tell us some of the challenges you faced while trying to write the exams and uh, how you were able to cope with them? Uh, well, first, firstly, um, to let you know, I mean, I started uh, under the old syllabus. I started under the old syllabus, and uh, the, the the under the old syllabus, mat getting mat study materials were a bit uh, challenging because. Um, the way it was structured, you, you, you just had, um, first of all, there were no study packs, and then you had uh, lots of books, recommended books. And it's not very easy to decipher which of the books is most, uh, is the, is the most, will, will be the most recommended or, or the best, because, and you can't at the same time buy all the books. But with the coming of the new syllabus, I think um, a lot of work was done by the Institute. That added a lot of quality into the materials, and then now came the, the packs, which helped a lot. But then you still had to go through some of the recommended books, which were very ideal. So that that actually helped. You know. Can you give a candid opinion on CIX examination? What do you feel about uh, the exam? Uh, well, the CIX exam. It's, it's, it's quite rigorous. It's very, it's very rigorous. And um, like I said before, the new syllabus really um, made it more contemporary and uh, more or less made it a lot to benchmark with uh, other international exams like the CFA and uh, the ACIA. So it's, it's, very, it's very robust. If, if you go through the program and then you do what you need to do as a student, um, you come out sound and you understand the financial markets much, much better. It's, it's for more education, CIS exam is a standard, it's a very standard exam and can compete with all international exams in the finance and investment area. Okay. How would you advise people coming behind or people who are willing to write this exam? What, what and what are you, would you advise them to do to be able to be like you? Uh, First and foremost, you need to be determined. If you are not determined, you might, uh, at a point, <laughs> because of the rigors involved, at a point you might like back out, you know. But first of all, you need to be determined. You need to be hardworking. You need to make the sacrifice. And uh, to be quite honest with you, it's an exam you start. You don't know when you finish. You know when you start, but it's not like a degree exam that you know, okay, twelve months or eighteen months. Four months. So, what will be the driving force, the propelling force for any student who's coming is that determination to complete the program and uh, get to imbibe all the uh, competencies that are required. So, perseverance is key. Perseverance is key. There are times you, you ask yourself, why am I in this program or why am I doing this to myself? But then you don't have to look at that, and you have to look at the, the destination, which is uh, coming out certified. Anything that happens along the line, probably you have referrals or, or, or whatever. Those are just minor things I'll look at. Uh, they're not, they're just events along your destination. The destination is getting certified, which is the goal and what you have to look at all the time. All right, thank you. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Thank you, Lindy, for the opportunity.